Hey everybody, welcome to Average Guy Opinions. I'm your Average Guy, John Corelli. This is episode 119. Uh, almost a two-parter with the last one, but not really. Um, the last one did kind of vault me into doing some research, which I said a couple episodes ago, and I've said several times um, on these videos that I will try to do more research and just try to give more fact-based opinions. I mean, all op opinions are opinions, whether they're fact-based or not, but I'd prefer to do fact-based. So, uh, and maybe teach myself and maybe even you guys something along the way. Um, so I was talking about uh, movies last time in the Oscars, and uh, this guy on the, on the Oscars, one of the, I can't remember what award he won, he won but, um, you know, often the Oscars are a platform, almost like a Colin Kaepernick type of uh, scenario, where uh, you get up and you, uh, you 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 say some political stuff because this is your shot, right? This is your best chance at the biggest megaphone that you'll ever have a chance at. National TV, a Hollywood crowd, and hey, I'm going to say something that's important to me. I'm going to thank the people that helped me got, get the award, but I'm also going to I'm going to say some stuff. And so this guy talked about how there were a uh, hundred gun deaths a day in this country, and I had no idea about that. I knew we weren't in good shape. But it seemed like maybe just 10 years ago we were at 10,000 a year, which is not good. That's still like 30 a day. But now we're up to 100 a day. And uh, the rationalizations will never stop. Um, I am kind of tired of the, well, it's mental illness. No, it's not. It's not Not only mentally ill people are killing people. I mean, you can make that argument that you got to have something wrong with you to, uh, to kill a person, to pull a trigger of a gun. Sure. But let's not say, oh, it's all mental illness. No, it's not. And you know it. It's a weak argument, and you know it. Um, so it, the problem is the guns, and the problem are, are the guns that can kill masses of people. It's that simple. We should get rid of them. So anyway, you know I felt uh, I feel I felt that way about this uh, several times on, on these videos I've made. And so, uh, I, but I got into some facts and figures very briefly. I, I, I just did a little research. Didn't do a ton, but I was shocked by the research I found. Some numbers. Um, the first number that surprised me is that the United States is not tops for uh, gun deaths in this in this uh, on this planet. That was surprising to me, and it also surprised me who was number one. Uh, Brazil uh, that was surprising. Now I don't know if Brazil is number one per capita, but they're definitely number one overall. Um, we had around thirty-seven thousand gun deaths uh, in twenty twenty. I think maybe it was twenty nineteen. Twenty twenty we might have slowed down because of COVID. Um, and sometimes, you know, the numbers lag, so the numbers from 2020 might not be there yet. But I, I'm imagining that numbers were way down uh, from COVID, although I could be completely wrong about that. Um, but um, Brazil was up over 43,000. So out of the 250,000 gun deaths on the planet, the last time they took the numbers, um, us and Brazil were uh, responsible for a third of them. And uh, it surprised me because you think about Brazil, right? At least I think about Brazil. I've never been there, but I think, of, what do you see when you see, you see soccer, <laughs> you see people partying, you see massive cities, I know a lot of people aren't aware, but uh, Rio de Janeiro, huge city, uh, Brasilia, humongous city, Sao Paulo, one of the biggest cities on the planet, and with uh, obvious uh, big cities have wonderful, great things, they have a lot of horrific things, New York City is an example, I mentioned back uh, um, early on in this series, um, about when I went to India and saw Mumbai, which at the time was the second or third biggest city on the planet. I'm sure, sure it doesn't change a lot. 20 million people in one place. You'd see the, the, the highest, the rich of the rich and the skyscrapers that they work in. And then at the bottom, the poorest of the poor. And I literally saw people buying live chickens on the streets in the shadow of skyscrapers. Blew my mind. And obviously homeless people, very, uh, extremely poor people. Um, so, you know, you see that and you expect that in the city. I didn't expect the levels of violence that are apparently going on in Brazil. Um, I also didn't expect them to have the gun proliferation that they have. And I did not expect them to have the alcohol problems that they have. I knew, I'm quite sure that alcohol is part of the reason they're such a party country. But I, I'm, I'm surprised that the abuse of it to the levels uh, to have the top um, amount of gun deaths in, in their country. And Brazil is a big country, but... It's not, uh, po population-wise, they just went over the 200 million mark. So uh, we just went over the 330 million mark. So they got about 60% of our population, yet they're beating us in, uh, in gun deaths. Hey, for once, I'm happy not to be number one, USA. So yeah, we'll take the silver medal in this one, won't we? Per capita, I think we might be even better. I didn't check the per capita numbers closely, but uh, this is what hurt my head when I looked at this. Okay, first of all, 
in the Americas, North and South America, which I'm doing for for a simple, simplicity reason, I'm going to uh, call it the uh, Western Hemisphere. Technically, the Western Hemisphere, I think, is anything west of Greenwich, England, you know, where the international timeline is. So, like, some Western Africa is considered Western Hemisphere. I think England and Ireland, uh, the Iberian Peninsula, where um, Portugal and Spain are. But I'm not going to count that. I'm going to call the Western Hemisphere just the Americas, North and South America. Okay, so here's some numbers for you. So out of uh, the 250,000 people who were killed on the, la in the la last count on this planet from gun violence, half of those people were, uh, not all, were, were killed in, in the Western Hemisphere. We only have just over a billion of the, of the people on this planet. We're approaching 7.5 billion people worldwide. So about 13% of the people on this planet live in the Americas, yet we're responsible for half of the gun deaths. That is just amazing to me. Considering we consider this a pretty good place to live, do we not? I mean, Brazil sounds pretty good. I like it here. I may move someday, but I'm still generally happy to be uh, here in the old U.S. of A. But those numbers really kind of hurt my head. Um, some of the countries were a little less surprising. It only, took six, it only takes six countries, really, to make up the 50% of gun deaths. It wasn't just... You know, it's not very generalized. Obviously, Canada doesn't have a lot of people killing people. Chile was pretty low. Um, more mellow countries like Ecuador and Peru didn't have the kind of gun deaths that these other countries did. But it, was, it was us, Brazil, Mexico, not surprising. Um, a lot of places where, uh, you know, where we have drug issues and cartels killing all kinds of people. Same with Colombia. Venezuela, which is a hot spot probably not only uh, drug-wise but also politically. And then I think the sixth country was... Um, you know what? I'm not 100% sure, uh, but it was it was just six countries, all of them Latin American and the United States. Those were the top six that that 125,000 people roughly uh, died at the uh, at the hands of gun violence, and that, like I said, that's surprising to me. Now let's hear about the arguments as to why we shouldn't get rid of. Uh, what I'm going to call weapons of mass destruction. Why do you need an AR-15 or an AK-47 to to defend your home? Simply put, you don't. If you're uh, decent with a gun, with, whether it's a pistol, a hunting rifle, or a shotgun, you should be able to keep people at bay out of your home unless you're being overrun by zombies. You know, uh, it's it's insane that people think we need these weapons. We don't. Every time people are killed, it's in a grocery store or in a school or somewhere horrific uh, or in Vegas when the, these automatic weapons were used. And we hear the same old arguments, you know. Well, obviously it's mental illness. We need to really keep a cap on mental illness in this country. A, if you're like this big of an Amendment 2 supporter, you probably don't give a shit about mental illness, let's be honest. Um, you probably are just using that as an excuse because, let's be honest, you can make the argument that anyone who gets behind a gun and shoots them and ends their life is mentally ill. That's an easy argument to make. However, that's not the the argument you're making. You're making the argument that somehow you are mentally ill if you mass shoot people. Okay, sure, but you got to be mentally ill to even own one of those guns, in my, in my opinion. You know that's not, you, you know you just are looking for an excuse to hold on to your uh, weapon of mass destruction. Now... Um, my last point on that, and probably for the video because i got 90 seconds, is um, Japan, strictest gun rules in the entire world. Now, to be fair, uh, Japan obviously does not have some of the quote-unquote problems that we do. Um, a way more homogeneous society. Um, they generally take care of each other way better, so you're not going to have... I mean, you get people stressed out, but you're not going to have people just snapping and losing it on the, on the proportions we have. Japan has one of the lowest gun death rates in the in the world, and it's because you got to jump through some fucking hoops if you want to get a gun in Japan. Uh, the government runs everything, and I really think that's the way we should do it here. You have to go, uh, let's see, I think you can only get a shotgun or a hunting rifle, maybe a pistol, but I don't even think a pistol. Um, you have to go to a hospital and get a mental evaluation. You've got to do uh, classes that are sanctioned by the government. You don't just go to some Yahoo in Podunk, Tennessee, and he hands you a certificate. You're good. No. you got, This is a government-run regulatory uh, operation where you have to you have to meet a lot of criteria to own a gun in Japan. Um, and I think that's the way it should be. Uh, so that's about all i got to say about that. It's quite a bit. Um, but I, I do... Uh, I'm blown away that we weren't number one uh, at gun deaths on the planet. Um, we still should shoot for maybe less than a bronze medal, though. All right, thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Uh, 
Stay safe. Don't get shot. See you soon. Bye.